you're still quite young. Yes. So why make a movie about <laughs> aging into your death? I don't know. Well, maybe it's a guilty pleasure of putting powerful people, you know, <laughs> on the edge of dying and, you know, being not so, not so happy to do that. Because when you have a lot of things here, it's more difficult to live, no? And I like this. I don't know. I like the contrast, obviously, of being, you know, in absolute power and being completely impotent with illness and with, uh, with death, no? With, with the end of life. Um, so impotence, you know, there is a small quote in the, in the film when he talks with the kid, the small kid, saying, uh, don't imitate me on the buildings, on passion for buildings and war, because, and it was true, you know, it was also important because at the beginning, at, at, you know, at that time was at the beginning of the decadence of the state because, uh, because of money, you know, <laughs> because of bankruptcy. So if you lend, no, lend it in English, if you pick up money from banks and you don't give it back, uh, you are also important and you are dead. I mean, so a bit like uh, in the story of my death, you see this maybe as a bit of a portrait of the end of an era, one era. Yes, yes, no, uh, the end of an era, the state, no, the concept that the state is one man and it's the beginning of decline of this idea, and then you know, new ideas will, uh, not immediately, but you know, it's obvious that. It doesn't work at this at this level. So, but I was more focused on the the process of agony, you know, the concept of agony, you know, and on representation also, but on the because it's very difficult to hold the thing on representation, but also in intimacy, you know. And uh, this is what the film uh, deals a little bit in the more in the closer shots and you know some violent regards, you know, with the eyes and uh, some craziness on the. But not, it's, not, it not, it's nothing that comes from drama, drama, you know, it comes from the, as Jean Duchet said about my previous film, the, the dramaturgy of presence, you know, and the presence of an actor and all, you know, things that happen is because, it's because of this presence that, you know, like emanates, you know, or, 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 or goes out from this presence and everything it's, uh, you know, there is nothing, no idea that I have previously of how he will live, agony, what he will think, which face he will, Put, uh, you know, how, who, I don't know. For me, it's also a discovery and it's living this process in present. It's very important with, with period films because if not, it's like a cliche. We all know, we know all about the truth, about how this character was, how this doctor was, he was right, he was wrong. So it's very, you, 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 don't, you don't see it usually in period films that, you know, there is some depth or that really things are happening in present. And well, this is part of my methodology. Always, you always know. But it works also with professional actors because last conversation, you know, we had this doubt. We, 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 I don't know if we discuss it briefly, but if this could apply to professional actors, and I don't know what I and an, I answered, but it happened, you know, because I don't know. It's it's the methodology. It's so crazy, not so crazy, but I mean, three cameras all the time shooting with the scenes. No, never preparing shots, only the scenes that are transforming in others, coming back to the previous with variations, blah blah blah. So, no, it, 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 uh, I like uh, to do, no, and even a professional actor cannot escape to the, this logic or this absence of logic, or this uh, also, you know, it helps the uh, absence of communication. I always apply in this case, Vision Pierre was very neutral because you know. He was also in his own in his own way of working. And we communicate just a little bit. Uh, uh, we never made rehearsals, obviously. Uh, the first day of shooting was the first day I saw him, you know, dressed as a Louis XIV. So we started uh, you know, from that day, 15 days, and it's over. So uh, this is also you know, a challenge for for an actor, I think, because they have no information. No information, and also it's a performance where you're asking them to be incredibly passive, yeah, uh, but still physical. So how do you, yeah. how do you direct someone to, to do nothing, uh, but yet still be present? Yeah, it, it, it's doing. Yeah, it, because it, this doing nothing is a consequence of doing a lot. So I uh, even we have the traces of doing a lot in doing nothing. No, doing a lot with thinking, doing a lot. No. And uh, it has to be, you know, this doing a lot is in the violence, in sometimes in the sadness, in whatever. But, uh, and in general, sometimes, you know, it comes from spontaneously because he, he, uh, maybe I can have an idea that it's absurd, but I never, you know, cut my own ideas, even if they are absurd. Or Jean-Pierre had his own ideas and he, I, I leave it, I leave him keeping, keeping going, even if I think that it's completely ridiculous and it will never be on the final edit. But, you know, it's a way of, 
No, you, you don't. When you want that things happen in present, in present, you know, to to make them pre in, alive in present, you cannot direct in present, you know, because no, if if you are, it's a contradiction. It will never happen something interesting. So I direct the film. This I learned from Warhol. It was a, a little bit, you know, from, I don't know, one week before, maybe three hours before, maybe you know, I I, I prepare, I insinuate things that will arrive sooner or later but not in a, no not shooting in real present it works for my system i don't say it's a it's a thing that it's good or not or everybody should do this or that or whatever but in my system it works and with jean pierre also because and it's also you know this trying to be innocent when you are in front of your own material your own you know your own work no no not being uh, because if not, it's so easy to make it speculative and to try to control effects and blah, blah, blah. That And it's boring, you know, it's like working. Speaking I'm, of uh, the material in front of you and also your process, you said that just now you had three cameras and we spoke a bit of your process and multiple cameras uh, mm. when last we spoke. And I feel like uh, I'd be curious for you to talk about the challenge of shooting in such a limited space. Yeah. Uh, just one room, yet so many diverse images and, mm. and lighting. You know, how did you work to carve up that space? That it's difficult. Kind of it's very difficult because you are never sure. Because I never check images with my own films during the shooting. And mostly because you are not sure that what will work in the edit. Because you say, ah, we need a lot of, uh, we need similar light. And then you said, maybe it will be bo boring, you know, to, to similar light. And we have to put different kinds of lighting, different colors. And then you said, fuck, it will lack homogeneity. And it will be, and you are scared also. So you, it's very difficult to know exactly because of my cinema, because I don't know how I will edit the film, which part of the film will be more important, which actor will be always there, which actor I will hate afterwards, and I will be, a, you know, I will try to, 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 to cut all the scenes, or I mean, what will happen? I don't know. And then it's very, very risky for, for the final result. Uh, I don't know, we are lucky sometimes. But uh, we are lucky, not so lucky some, some other times. At the end, okay, with modern technology, the post-production, and if it's well done, it can help. But, well, it's very, I don't know, no, 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 no. you are never safe, you are never sure. And this really scares me sometimes, because with the actors I am sure that something will appear sooner or later, and that I will manage with them and with the edit, and you know, I, am, I know how to do it. But uh, with this uh, light and all these things, uh, for example, now I regret uh, some, because uh, uh, Jean-Pierre with the peruke, with the wick, was very, you know, very interesting and I love it a lot. And, but then we were there and I was there and said, maybe it's too much. Maybe we need him without the wick and because to make it, to put it more human and blah, blah. So you never know how to balance because there is no, the script is not a, it's not a guarantee. It's not a reference for us. So it's very complicated, in fact, and it's a it's a it's a matter of intuition, and it's a matter of having uh, being lucky sometimes because uh, there is no possible. But okay, more intuition, more possible of being lucky. This is obvious. Um, I don't know. Was this quite a originally quite a stri scripted film? I'm yeah. Curious about how you got from point A of uh, the party to his death, and, yeah. and what you wanted to us to the, the waypoints along that journey. Well, for me, it was the the most beautiful thing was the, uh, to being precise on the gradual uh, the, coming from movement and you know uh, gradually going to uh, non-movement no of the body no and first he walks then he stays uh, no then he walks a little bit less then he stays in bed but seated and then you know progressively he stays you know seated but uh, lying down 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 and all the ten times just already you know lying completely down and the, the hands are he's still moving the hands and then the hands are moving less and less and less and until you don't know if he's breathing or not or what's going on and then you say sometimes and suddenly one well, not suddenly because you exactly don't don't know what's going on it's that you know and I like this this idea of death this was a beautiful point because usually in death there is always you know the last moment last war or you know last gesture or last uh, you know meaning of life you know and usually in films in fact, death is like uh, the, the last uh, chant, uh, chant, no, last order, the last cry of life, you know, what is quite paradoxical, no, that, uh, that it's always uh, seen as this. And in my film, no, it's simply that death is eating life, and that's all, you know. It, it's not, uh, death is nothing, it's, it's not, 
apart uh, it is not something that you know will will we will i don't know will see as a dramatic point of, of affirmation of life no death is part of life and blah 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 and it is simply somebody disappears and that's all i mean but the servants you don't see that uh, usually in films no this kind of and i like this and with jean pierre that was very beautiful sorry no, I was saying that the servants remain, and I feel like uh, I was surprised to see this sort of continues uh, hmm. this dynamic that you seem to love between master and servant. Yes, and servants uh, continue because life continues. No, no, nothing changes. One is dead, and what will change? This was a friend of mine that said, yeah, it's, it's, it's absurd to worry about death. You know, the day after, everything uh, continues, everything keeps on, even, you know, the closest friend will continue with, with their own life, so it's, it changed nothing for you. So uh, I don't know, uh, and it's also the dramatic, you know. The, I think that it was the relation with the, the way we, the way they, uh, you know, felt or they, you know, faced death at that time was much colder than today. Today there is a romantic, you know, then when you have eight kids and seven are dead at two, two, I mean, or when you go to war and you know nobody comes back and all are, you know, uh, on our on our all die at twenty. I mean. And medicine was not, uh, you have an infection and you die. You know? So, um, well, in this case, it's a luxurious death by Dent only because he's so wealthy, right? Sorry? Uh, his wealth makes his death luxurious. Yes, for yes. The yes, yes. And uh, I don't know. Um, I like also when, uh, you know, this, uh, the two approaches of the medicine, you know, the esoteric and the rational, no? It's, uh, because it's always it's something that is in, in our inside us, no? this logic of irrational, rational approach. and It's scientifically demonstrated that irrational approach of medicine, medicine doesn't work. And, uh, you know, cancer is cured by um, chemotherapy, not by, <laughs> you know, herbs. <laughs> but, uh, okay, at that time it was uh, the same. It's historically true, the, the character of the charlatan. What is not what I invented that I like a lot is the scene where the doctors afterwards want to put the, the to arrest the guy and to put it in Bastille. I said he put your illness, you know, worse. You know, he's the he's the he's the real problem. And the other says it's very dangerous. This kind of people, very dangerous people. <laughs> you know, they are the fucking killers. <laughs> they don't know anything about medicine. They don't want to cut the the, the lab because they think they will save it. They don't want to, to, to put it painful, and you know. And well, I saw in a website what really pleased me at the end of shooting. Or well, when we were editing the film, that it, uh, in a website that there's uh, most dangerous doctors in history, and this Fagon was number two. So uh, I think that it was clearly somebody uh, you know <laughs> that didn't know anything about his own job. Well, number one was Hippocrates. <laughs> Apparently, all he says in this uh, tri, uh, tri, no, uh, tratado, uh, this book about medicine, is wrong. <laughs> I mean, simply. <laughs> um, even even the correct medicine doesn't uh, can't cure it. Yeah, uh, yeah, incredible. yeah. This is the the point, no? The importance of of, of the fini, infinite power with the finite, you know, the finite life, no? The finite. Uh, finite uh, body and that you cannot change it for another you cannot put your soul in another body it's simple and there's no transplant how much were you thinking about the this is beautiful when people make a, a, a surgery you know plastic surgery because they want to really you know uh, make this change you know they want to to transform his own body they they will transplant the whole body but they cannot obviously because it's too complicated it's impossible to to leave the soul if it exists and transplant in a younger body but they can modify the body you know in a way that it's quite grotesque sometimes you know? Uh, one last, maybe just one last question. It's very obvious, I suppose. But how much were you thinking about uh, Leod as this um, container of cinema history? You know, he really represents a certain movement into modernist cinema that's now yeah. maybe uh, moving. Godard's old, Rivette's dead, Truffaut's yeah. dead. You know, and now uh, this is a new wave now. Could be. Yes, I don't know. I, I didn't. I don't want to be because if you were focused on that from the very beginning. You are speculative, and it's not my not my way. I mean, if we may, if I choose, or he choose me, in fact, uh, to do this, uh, uh, Jean Pierre, it was because I really admire him as a person. It was somebody that I really feel closer as a person, not as an actor, not even uh, you know. I didn't even think that he could play. I like it physically. I think that he had a very genetic French, uh, uh, no visage, 
uh, how to say the face yeah and uh, I think that you know in some jokes even he reminds me Terran you know some jokes on the side and the, 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 the thin uh, li lips the, the nose and you know it's, it's something genetically French so I think it could it could work and uh, if you and if you see the, the, the picture when he was younger no you see that also so uh, I like it for this and and because of, of he was very friendly and very you know well, he was in I like his integrity his human point of view of life in general uh, but I didn't think he, I didn't think about him as an actor and his capabil capabilities to, to do the film or this is my job we will manage I think I don't care and, uh, uh, and I don't know this idea maybe it appears because no the person the, the actor the character you know, maybe there is some crossing points in the film and these traces of these movements appear, but it was not my intention. Oh, there is one moment that it's quite obvious, but I didn't know. This is very curious because when he looks at the camera, it looks like that somebody told me, yes, it, it's, no, it's the closing circle of uh, in, a, in the, uh, you know, at the end of the Le Quatre Cents Coup, no, Kill Regard to Silla Camera and it's congelating, no, the, the, I didn't remember. Even here, people uh, you know, said this. Two, two, yes, it's a closing with this, and I didn't remember exactly what, which shot they were talking about. So you know, it's for me. I like what he was doing. I like the the, the, the way he he was looking and the, the intensity and the violence and certain you know deep aggressive sadness inside. And it was simply didn't. Uh, then okay, the music amplifies everything, and uh, then there it was obvious that there was something else. But pff, I don't know. I, uh, it was not very. I am scared because if people love it so much, there must be bad. And so I am ashamed almost. Too because, much praise. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yes, or uh, yes, of I don't know. I don't know how to deal with that because ah, it's too early, and I was so focused on the edit. And for me, for me, the film, the film was never moving. And, uh, and people apparently, you the know, finished film was never yeah. but the experience uh, was something different. Mm, it's very formal always with me, so I don't know. I don't feel anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel anything. I prefer to. I don't prefer. I don't feel anything. I don't know. Uh, it's very difficult because I am so concentrated in formal aspects in a wider sense, but formal aspects that or aesthetic logic, we can put it this way, that. I don't know, I don't know. And I thought, in fact, you know, you have seen the film, so the last 40 or 50 minutes, it's, you know, there is kind of quite repetitions. I mean, it's quite a slow and repetitions, and, you know, he's giving water and gelatin and, and meat and grapes and water again, and, you know, it's all the time the same thing. And, and I don't know why. I thought, you know, people will be a little bit, you know, said, well, wow, he's again fucking and provoking and blah, blah, blah. But no, no, everybody, you know, loves it and say, no, it's very, oh, it's, it's very sweet, and, you know, it's, I thought it will be hard to hold. You never know with you know because I never, as I never when I edit I never uh, think about the, the how really the effect of, of being uh, you know I am always an spectator on the content of my own film I, I never have ideas I don't but on the formal side I am never an spectator and I don't know it's completely the opposite you know I never see what's going on really I I, I try to as assemble you know assembly you know. Uh, yeah like in a factory, you know, images one next to another, and for, for rigorous reasons, and maybe esoteric, but always rigorous and, and stage. But I don't know the effect that this image together create on the soul uh, of, a, of, a, of a viewer. And I don't know, I'm not surprised as anybody, you know, that people love it. Obviously, I think that serious people will not love it because it could be much better. And uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, quite an obvious point. But uh, well, I don't know. Probably it's also better than a lot of things you can find, you know, in, um, in this, you know, wall or I don't know, or bars or whatever. So it would um, flatter you to tell you I thought it was boring. Uh, sorry? It would flatter you to tell you I thought it was boring. Uh, yes. Uh, boring, I think it's a concept that it never flatters me because I, I, I immediately I think that, uh, you know, as I did it, I will never do a boring thing. So boring, it's not the war. I think that the guy that says it's boring is stupid because it's he, he is boring. It's not the film that it's boring. But uh, other things I like, you know, he said it's absurd or it's ridiculous or I don't know, this I like. But boring, it's not a good word uh, 
uh, for the guy who said because if I was a girl, I will never fall in love with this guy because it will be very boring to be with him. So or the opposite. So uh, I prefer to, you know, it's smarter to think that it's weak. You know, it's ambiguous the word. You can say, Albert, your film it's really weak. Okay, uh, you know, I like it. Cool man. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.